We have seen your requests to discuss the Detroit Pistons on Jenkins and Jones. They have been the topic that got cut like four or five episodes in a row. And somehow they have continued to lose basketball games <laughs> exclusively during those uh, two weeks. They're now 2-18 and 18 on the season. They are truly uh, looking like they're going to end up in the running for some bad history. I don't know if you guys have seen some of the compilation mashup clips people have been tweeting about mm -hmm. some of the turnovers they've had. It's I nasty. Mean, it's worse than the Wizards? You're talking about, oh, like, yeah, because the Wizards, yes, worse than the Wizards. It, like, there was wow. one where it was like. The Wizards a, spanked them by, like, 15, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're that bad, bro. <laughs> like, it was a, I, I watched the entire game, the Lakers against the Pistons, and I will say that I was shocked by what the Lakers bench players were able to do <laughs> to the Pistons. Jesus. But, John, there was a clip when it was just, like, two guards up top, lazy pass across the top of the arc like jogging steel run out dunk. I mean, just like, what are you doing, bro? Are y'all, are y'all even professionals? You know what I mean? Like crazy. Yeah. Tough, uh, tough, really, really tough shit. But I want to read this cause I think it, uh, it reaches a level of performance art. Uh, worldwide. Wob took the text from each one of the Pistons graphics. They did not win a single game in November. And he took the text from all of the graphics that the team tweeted out, uh, over the course of November, November 1st, we're going to keep fighting. November 5th, back at it tomorrow. November 6th, battle through 4. November 8th, all of it is motivation. November 10th, back at it Sunday. November 12th, final. November 14th, <laughs> fought until the end. November 17th, ellipses. <laughs> November 19th, nothing. Was, November was, was, 20th. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Was the November 17th the, um, the, the, the Wizards lost the Ellipses one? Was that the Wizards <laughs> I think it was the Wizards. Oh, oh it, okay. It was not. It was not. It was the, it was, I have their schedule up. It was against the <laughs> Cleveland Cavaliers. The one that where they tweeted nothing the next game, they lost by November 30 20th, back at it Friday. November 24th, final. November 27th, final. November 29th, nothing. November 30th, final from New York. <laughs> What's crazy about this too is on Wednesday they play they host the Memphis Grizzlies who are also terrible. Huge game cuz winnable game for the Pistons because if they lose to the Grizzlies their following games are at Orlando, Indiana, Philadelphia, at Philadelphia, at Milwaukee. They're not going to win until the new year if they don't beat the Grizzlies. It's funny that you call that a huge game. Huge game. Two terrible players. Huge, huge game. game. Huge game. Huge game. Absolutely right. massive game. That was really sad. Like, I, when I, I saw that tweet, right? You reading it out loud? Like, it was kind of like when your homie, like, is break up with his girl and then realize she don't fuck with him no more. Like, and it's slow. Like, oh, well, I'm going to work it out. I'm going to work it out. And it kind of gets to the point where, like, damn, she ain't coming back home. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that, that that's kind of feel like it, I'm not, I, that ain't funny. I'm not trying to make that funny, though. No, but it, but it's, felt it, like it, that. it reads they, like T.S. Eliot or something. Like, yes. Yeah, you you realizing, damn, bro, like, we really trash, bro. Like, the season's over with, and it's December. You know what I mean? I mean, those, those tweets were in November, but yeah. Not even crazy. Thanksgiving the season's over Man, with. Man, yeah. not a chance, bro. bro. Bro, they gotta allow Piston fans to storm the court if they if they break the street with a home win. <laughs> they gotta allow it. I know that doesn't happen in the NBA, but we gotta make an exception here. It hasn't happened since like the Larry Bird Celtics <laughs> won that championship. You know what I'm saying? But but if the Pistons break that streak at home, they gotta let the fans rush the floor, bro. Got to. I would I, love but I know to there, see I know, that. I know, I know, I know there's a bad history with Piston fans rushing the floor. You know, go back to the battles <laughs> and the Dallas shit. But, but we might have to make it. You know, an amendment here. That's so ridiculous. I think that can balance out the malice in the palace. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, I, I feel like, dude, let them do that. They have been extremely bad. Let them have some joy. There's going to be no other joy in this season outside of that. Let them have some joy. If they squeak out a win, rush the court, that is hilarious. It's well, very college college sports court. All of their players are like 20 years old anyways. Just lift Cade Cunningham up on, on your shoulders like he's in college. He <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's that's beast still in Oklahoma State. Yeah. What's crazy is like you talk about how young they are. They've been trusting the process for hellas, and the process ain't did shit for them, bro. You feel me? Let them get something, bro. Let them rush the damn court. They get a W. It's wild out there for Pistons fan. Crazy. Um, and if you're still a Pistons fan after all this, bro, you deserve something. You deserve something. At least one thing. You know, if what you're, I mean? if ain't you're no a, way in hell. If ain't you're no a Pistons fan, if you're a Pistons fan who we know 
shoot us a shoot us a message. I'm curious about the mentality at this point. It's Maybe tough. Come on the pod. Let's interview him. Let's interview him. I want to. That's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's see. like what's I know. Ten minutes. You ain't got to stay make, with us the whole time. Yeah. What's making you some, tick? <laughs> we have some questions for you, brother. <laughs> um, one of the Pistons writer, I think it might have been Duncan Smith, uh, said, and I, this was a great point. They said they've gotten so bad that they've lost the ability to get an off night from someone because no one wants to be the team that loses to them now. You know, so like yeah. the Grizzlies, oh, you know, wow. like the, the Grizzlies, that's, some that's of those really teams, you might kind of like catch somebody where it's like, okay, Grizzlies first night of a back-to-back or something. No one's going to take it easy on the Pistons right now because you're expected to beat them comfortably. No one wants to lose to the Pistons at home. You know what I mean? Lose like they're going to gonna get everyone's one of the best worst, shot, bro. Yeah. <laughs> lose to one of potentially one of the worst teams in the history of basketball based on what's going on. They have that potential, you know what I mean? Right. Like, yeah, of course. So I'm I'm a I'm a cook the fuck out they ass, you know what I'm saying? To make sure that doesn't happen. Yeah, that that's that's a great great point. That's sad though. Cuz this but it is just like if you look at it, right? Like they beat who did they beat? They beat the Thunder. And that's it, that's right? Wild. Now they beat the Bulls. And the Thunder or something? I mean, like, but... <laughs> they smacked... Did they, did they not smack the Bulls up? They they lost their first game of the season to the Heat by one point and then won two straight games. They were over 500. Oh, they wow. were 2-1 and one, and now are 2-18. and 18. Jeez. <laughs> Life come at you fast, man. <laughs> enjoy, the, enjoy the ups, Bubba. Because you look, never know. <laughs> look, <laughs> look like non-Southern uh, uh, college football programs <laughs> in that playoff right now, dog. <laughs> In the NBA, the game can change in an instant. But no matter how the action unfolds, you know DraftKings Sportsbook has your back. This week, new customers can score 150 instantly in bonus bets just for betting 5 bucks on basketball. Win or lose, you get an instant dub. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code Jenkins, J-E-N-K-I-N-S, Jenkins. New customers can get 150 instantly in bonus bets for betting just $5 on basketball, only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code Jenkins. The crown is yours. 